all those other wonderful things that have crochet on them. Yes. So, so if you weren't here, you, you missed out, but um, see Val if you would like a bargain. So thank you to our church family for all your hard work, sweat, blood and tears. And um, it was a hot day and a good day and many were blessed and money was raised to uh, bless and bring the uh, Marshall Islands ladies to, to visit us hopefully next year sometime and Val will keep us uh, all informed how that works and when that's happening. So thank you from, from me and her and us and you and, and it was a great effort and I'm always impressed how you rally and, and get alongside and make things happen um, so easily and effortlessly and effortless, yeah, that word, yeah. without much trouble, yeah, so, so that's good. I've got the very creative title this morning, Baptism, Why Not? <laughs> it like, like, took me hours to think about that, uh, just the creative juices were flowing, and, and yeah, so, so we're going to look at baptism today. If you haven't been baptised, there's still time, so have a think about that. God is at work, isn't he? God is at work in this place. At times we sit, at times we pray, we give, we help, we care, we, we listen. And you wonder what God is up to. But he's transforming lives. That's been very evident in Jamie and Di's life, and so they'll be baptised this morning at Two Fin Court, and we're going to join in that, and as many of you have heard Jamie's testimony, and have chatted with Di and chatted with them over the last year or so, God's been at work. And God's been at work in your life. If we stop and consider and think, He's at work in this place. Matthew chapter 3, verses 13 to 17 talks about Jesus' baptism and will be up there on the screen for you. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you. And you come to me. Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to for us to do this, to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, alighting on him, and a voice from heaven said, this is my Son, whom I love. With Him I am well pleased. So Jesus comes. He makes a two-day journey from Galilee to the Jordan River to be baptised by John. John was calling people to turn from their sinful lives and be baptized. Jesus was the sinless Son of God, and he saw baptism as important, an important step, and to set the example for us who would follow as believers in his name. But baptism was an important step of faith. If it's good enough for Jesus, amen. It's good enough for me. And good enough for you. As we are his followers today. And we encourage those who call on the name of Jesus to be baptized and to follow his example. Baptism is a public declaration of our Christian faith. I'm serious about following Jesus, aren't you? No doubt our own baptism day holds important significance in our lives. And no doubt we can all recall it. And today marks a special point in history for our dear friends, Jamie and I. We have God's approval. Immediate following Jesus' baptism, the heavens opened and a voice of, from heaven was heard saying, This is my son whom I love. I'm, I'm well pleased with him. 
Today, Jamie and I, God speaks over your life. Well done. Well done. I'm pleased with you. I love you. I forgive you. God's Holy Spirit comes and rests upon you today. Embrace your redeemed life. Today you are trusting in Jesus as your Lord and Saviour and are being baptised. We are commissioned by Jesus himself. In Matthew 28, 19 and 20, Jesus says to us, Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything. I have commanded you, and surely I will be with you always to the very end of the age. We are commissioned as his church, as his children, as a Christian minister. We are called to make disciples and to see people follow Jesus and be baptised in his name. The name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Is baptism magical? Well, no. But something powerful, something spiritual, something very holy and sacred takes place when we follow Jesus' example and make that powerful statement and commitment to Him and be baptized. Saying, My old life is washed away today. I step into my new life with Christ. Will there still be hard times? Yes. Will there still be concerns? Yes. Will we get it right all the time? Sadly, no. But together as your Christian family, we stand with you today. We love you, support you, care for you. Celebrate with you this morning. In the book of Acts chapter 8, we have Philip and the Ethiopian, maybe a familiar passage to you. Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, go south to the, to the road, the desert road, that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. So he started out, and on his way, he met an Ethiopian eunuch, an important official in charge of all the treasury of Candake, which means the queen of the Ethiopians. I love how God's instructions are always quite clear. He didn't want Philip to get lost. He didn't want him to lose his way. He gives him clear instructions. Go down this road. There's someone I need you to meet. This man had gone to Jerusalem to worship and was on his way home, sitting in his chariot, reading the book of Isaiah the prophet. The Spirit told Philip, go to that chariot and stay near it. That conjures up in me an interesting... Because uh, the chariot is moving, so this bloke is running. <laughs> I'm sure he's going, what is that guy doing outside my chariot? <laughs> but that's just me. Then Philip ran up to the chariot and heard the man reading Isaiah the prophet. Gee, how good he is. <laughs> Did you understand what you were reading? Philip asked. How can I, he said, unless someone explains it to me? So he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. Well, thankfully at some point the chariot must stop and they have their conversation. He's reading God's word. And no doubt Philip is thinking in my mind, okay, God's got me here for a special purpose and a special reason. He doesn't quite know it yet. And as we heard from Jamie's testimony last week, through pain and hardship and trial, God is there and God does care. And God never lets us go. And God brings people across our path at important times. And this is the passage of Scripture the eunuch was reading. 
He was led like a sheep to the slaughter. And as a lamb before the shearer is silent, so he did not open his mouth. In his humi humiliation, he was deprived of justice. Who can speak of his descendants? For his life was taken from the earth. The eunuch asked Philip, tell me, please, please, who, who is the prophet talking about, himself or, or someone else? And Philip began with that very passage of Scripture and told him the good news about Jesus. He had questions. He was a religious man. He'd just come from worship. And God sent the right person at the right time. As they travelled along the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, Look, here is water. What can stand in the way of me being baptised? And he gave orders to stop the chant. Let nothing stand in our way of being baptised. Then both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water and Philip baptised him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away and the eunuch did not see him again, but went away rejoicing. And we rejoice today. Let us rejoice today. As we celebrate Jamie and Di's baptism. Let faith and forgiveness transform your life from the inside out. I read this during the week up on the screen there for you. Forgiveness doesn't change your past. It frees you for a better future. It frees us for a better future. Welcome to the family, Di and Jamie. Embrace your better future today. Let us all embrace our better future today as we hold on to our faith in Jesus Christ. Baptism, I say, why not indeed? God bless you. Amen. Amen. Before we sing our last song, I just want to give... Jamie and I have a little book for you to consider and read.